What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to WWE 2K19 AI Universe Mode. This is SmackDown Week 14 in Montreal, Canada. Welcome to SmackDown Live, where we are closer to our pay-per-view event. And I don't know if some of our superstars can wait that long. There are rivalries that are ready to explode tonight. The collision course toward the pay-per-view event continues. But tonight, someone's going to hit a massive roadblock. And we have quite the interesting card for you here tonight. But we are going to start off with some words from the charismatic enigma, the European champion, Jeff Hardy. Oh, what now? Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. Let's see what he has to say. Not feeling the love for that superstar. Definitely a fan I know the WWE for... Universe is intelligent enough to realize how competitive the WWE can be. There are superstars backstage who will do whatever it takes to get to the top. I cannot stand by any longer and allow the selfishness and ignorance to affect me. I've been annoyed about things around here long enough. It's time I take a stand and announce my intentions. Uh-oh. Here comes the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle interrupting the European champion. Something told me we might hear from him. Man, it's on now. Let's listen and see. Is the doggy going to bark all day or does he got a bite? Because I promise you, brother, if you say just a few more words, you're going to regret ever grabbing a mic. I'm sorry. Who are you again? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know who you are. And I know what this is. You're not coming out here. Oh. You're coming out here to tell me that this is your ring. You're a big tough guy. I don't belong here, blah, blah. So uh, go ahead, I guess. This could be interesting, maybe. For some reason, I've been hearing people backstage mentioning our names in the same breath, which is weird, right? Because I don't have any beef, and I know you don't have any beef because you'd say it to my face, right? Unless you're one of those guys who, you know, isn't man enough to say what you have to say to my face. Enough with the biceps, Kurt. This is actually getting embarrassing. I'm cringing right about now. I think you'd better peddle your wares somewhere else because no one is buying the crap you're selling. I'm not going to stand here and listen to this crap anymore. This is WWE, not a presidential election. The way we settle things here is inside the ring. I'm challenging you, uh, challenging you to a match. Let's see if you can fight as well as you think you can talk. I can beat you any time I want. If I woke up tomorrow and decided this is a day I was going to pound you into the ground, then that's what would happen. But I'm going to do it when I say, not you. Bad blood is a boiling. The truth is, I've beaten better superstars than you on my worst day. Taking you down would be one of those candy from a baby scenarios, and that's just not my style. Thanks for playing, but it's time for you to crawl back into your hole. 
My mother always told me two valuable lessons. One, there's a time and a place for everything, and two, to pick and choose my battles. Now, I'm willing to take you on a match, but tonight, in this city, is neither the time nor the place. I, I value my mother too much to go against that. You gotta love the attitude. The With these people as my witnesses, here I am ready to fight and put fist to faces, and there you are putting your tail between your legs, wishing you could run. You're a poor excuse for a superstar. I think the WWE Universe would agree that I'm the better superstar here. Wow. Harsh words between the European Universe. champion Man, and the Olympic like gold medalist. Kurt Angle wants a European title match against Jeff Hardy. We'll have to see where that goes in the weeks going forward. But up next, people, it's tag team action, and we have a debut have tag team. Going to it's going to be Hanson and Rowe, the, the War the Raiders, against going up against Akam and Razar, the authors of Pain. Now listen, the War Raiders are one of the best tag teams in the world, hands down. They are brutal. Hanson, as big as he is, can high, do the high-flying stuff, but... AOP are no slouches. They are brutal, they are powerful, and they will do anything and everything to pick up a victory. Who's going to get the win? The debuting War Raiders or the Authors of Pain? This one should actually be quite scary. Two Goliaths straight from a time, Byron, when men were men. Where you hunted what you ate, and Rowan Hansen are looking hungry tonight. Hungry and scary. Take what you can, give nothing back. The following contest is a knockout match. On the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 552 pounds, Hansen and Rowe, the War Raiders. Oh boy. Two of the most intimidating forces in WWE. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 620 pounds, Akum and Razor, the authors of pain. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A tag team war is about to break out. Hansen and Akum starting off this match and the bell sounds. Both of these teams want to climb the rankings to get a shot at the champs and Akum starting off with a Boston Crab and Hansen having a tough time getting out of it, but that he does. And the crazy thing about the War Raiders is Rowe may be the smaller one, but he's the powerhouse and the bigger Hansen is the athletic high-flying one um, but just because he's high-flying doesn't mean he's not brutal and look at Akum with showing off some athleticism hitting a DDT reversal Akum now in control of Hansen shot to the gut Hansen off the rope coming back huge back body drop to the big man oh no going for the torque but Hansen making his way to his feet. And now the tag, and they actually do the actual tags they do as well. That's awesome. Huge drop kick in Hansen with the Bronco Buster. They actually do the wrist tag in. That's awesome. Nice little touch. It's the little things like that that add so much to a game. And now Rowe in the grasp of Ako, Snapmare, and a kick to the back, but Rowe standing right up and a huge forearm to the side of the face. Akum now leaping for the tag to Razor. 
shoulder tackle. Rowe get, oh, Rowe tried to get up. And Razor slamming the arm down and going for the cover. Yeah, didn't think you were gonna get the pin that early. Rowe now twisting up the arm, but Razor with a forearm shot to the side of the face and another shoulder tackle. There is nothing pretty about Akam and Razor. They are just all power. And it may not be pretty, but it is damn sure effective. They have destroyed every tag team they have gone up against. But they've never faced anyone like the War Raiders. Row, beautiful standing suplex. Kick to the knee. Now Rose sending Razar into the turnbuckle and hitting another huge forearm. Oh, and here comes Razar with a clothesline. And once again, slamming the arm onto the mat. And now Razar with the iron claw on the trap muscle of Rowe. And that cannot feel good, but Rowe able to trip up Razar. Now Rowe tagging in Hansen. Oh, going for a clothesline instead gets a Uranagi from Razor. Picking up Hansen to his feet in the Lariat, Jesus! And Razor is wasting no time looking to finish off Hansen right now, but Hansen! Reversing the power bomb with a back body drop. Now Hansen is the one looking to end it. Picking up Razor. Samoan driver connecting. It could be over. One, two, three. Your winners, Hansen and Rowe, the War Raiders. Here are your winners, Hansen and Rowe, the War Raiders. That match didn't last long enough to even have any replays. The War Raiders making quick work of the Authors of Pain, proving their point and making their mark in the SmackDown Tag Team Division. Tag Team Champs, you better watch out. And we are moving on in the evening, and we have another debut here on SmackDown. We've got Mr. 619 Rey Mysterio going one-on-one -on -one with yours truly, Double B. And let me explain, uh, I mean, a lot of people make themselves in wrestling games. That That's no big deal. But uh, my character, I actually wrestled in my friend's wrestling group at one point. We had a ring and everything, and this is my representation of my character, um... He doesn't have my actual face or my actual tattoos yet, but one thing he does have is my actual move set. Not a single move he has, or should I say every move he has, are moves that I have actually done in real life. So I just thought that was kind of cool. I always got to explain it. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rey Mysterio going one-on-one -on -one with Double B. The biggest little man in WWE history. Making his way to the ring from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Miss. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 150 pounds, Brandon. 
And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Huge opportunity for Double B here tonight up against a legend like Ray Mysterio. But Mysterio has been on quite a roll lately. I don't know if Double B will be able to get it done. And Mysterio starting off with a spike Rana. And a kick right to the ribs. Double B coming back with an arm drag. Pick him a st there is not too much of a size difference here. Now Double B twisting up the arm, going into a hammer lock, but receives a back elbow from Mysterio. Uh -oh. And now Ray with the Huracurana. Ray is a legend because of his high flying abilities. Back in from the floor. And Double B and throwing Mysterio back, back into the ring. Double B, leg drop to the arm of Mysterio. Kick to the spine. Mysterio, knee to the gut coming back. It's been pretty back and forth thus far. Now Ray with the arm, slamming it, wrenching it into the mat, going for the hook of the leg. No, not even a one count. Double B far away from being defeated. And now Ray locking in the bow and arrow. Wrenching back on the arms. You can see the pain on Double B's face. And he has got to do something to get out of this predicament. But he can't he can't get out. Mysterio just lets him go. Gonna try to come back here. Rake of the eyes! That is vintage Double B right there. I've done that to quite a few people. And now Ray spinning around the head, but Ray was going for the Huracurana. Double B reversing into the alley-oop face buster. Very clever reversal. And now Double B telling Ray to bring it, and Ray with the stun gun. Double B getting too cocky in his debut match, and now Ray looking to fly. Springboard senton vintage Mysterio. Spinning soul kick to Double B, Ray. Uh-oh. That's not good for me. Dialing it up. 6-1-9. And heading straight up to the top. Frog splash. One, two, and Double B getting the shoulder up. And Ray cannot believe it. This kid that he's never seen before kicking out of his best move. And once again, putting damage on that arm. I think that's the other arm. And Mysterio heading right back to the top. And Ray going for the elbow. Double B was able to move out of the way. But Ray with the quickness. Oh my God. I think that Huracurana sent Double B face first into the turnbuckle. But that does not phase him. Picking Mysterio up to his feet. Kick to the gut. Now grabbing Mysterio by the back of the neck. And Double B took a little too long. Mysterio getting control again. Now Ray is normally not the powerhouse, but I mean, I only weigh 150 pounds, so. <laughs> Double B with a shot to the gut. He has got to capitalize right here, right now. Mysterio not going to allow it. And a beautiful drop kick. And look at that Ray going to the top. Double B rolling to the. Wait, wait. Mysterio! Diving elbow to the outside. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm dead. I think Double B's done. His his career's over. Oh my God! Right back up to the top. No! Double B got the knees up. And the ribs of Ray have to be screaming in pain. Putting Double B on the top rope. What could Mysterio be looking for here? What? Oh my! Oh my, Avalanche Bulldog! I think, think Double B's done. One, two, no, look at Mysterio's face. But he's going right back up to the top and if Double B can't reverse, wait, 
He's not going for the frog splash. What is... Oh my god, a dragon rana! One, two, three! Your winner, Mr. 619 Ray Mysterio. It was expected. Ray Mysterio, I mean... Sabu just one week ago hit Mysterio with everything he had and Ray just would not go down and Double B couldn't even get too many maneuvers in but it's still cool to see me finally debuting on Smackdown here is your winner Ray Mysterio Ray Mysterio continuing his role if he keeps this up I see a WWE title match in his near future but we are moving on in the evening with more singles action as we have the monster among men mm, going one on one with his former Wyatt family brother Luke Harper and I do believe these two... No, it wasn't. I don't think it was Braun. We've only seen Luke Harper in one match, I believe. And I think he put up a decent fight. But uh, I do not think that was Braun last time we saw him in action. But this time it is Braun. And though Luke Harper is in my probably top five favorite wrestlers, I don't know if he'll be, over to, be, over, be able to overcome the monster among men. But we're about to find out as it all breaks down. What are they doing out here? Wait a second. Strowman, Strowman's ready to go. And Batista's music hitting. Oh my god, Batista took out Luke Harper backstage. And the animal, the former world champion, about to go face to face. The animal and the monster. It's about, I told you, it was about to break down. Batista and Strowman throwing hands. Shoving the ref away. Oh. And the ref rings a bell, but that doesn't matter because this isn't a match. This is about to be a fight between these two men. Batista can't even knock Strowman down. Clothesline leveling the animal. Oh, my God. Did you see the force of that kick to the back? Oh, and a picture, like, spot on strike to the face. But Batista going to try to come back here. STO taking Braun off his feet. Rolling the monster over. Elbow to the chest. And Batista. Oh, the strength. Tossing Strowman down to the mat. Batista is no slouch when it comes to power. Braun into the turnbuckle. But no, he reverses, sending Batista across the ring. Oh, the body splash. That's a lot of man to be crashing into you. And now just throwing Batista by his leg like a child. Braun is feeling it. And I do believe that brawl is over. And, and it was Strowman who bested Batista, but... That doesn't say much other than Strowman can beat Batista in a brawl. But when it comes to an actual match, things might be a little different. I don't know. But uh, we're going to see how this plays out in the upcoming weeks. <clears throat> and for your main event of the and evening, we anywhere. have we women's action. As we have the Let's goddess. Alexa Bliss going one-on-one -on -one with the EST Bianca Belair. Now, Alexa has had quite the problem with Charlotte Flair for quite a little bit now. Can't Will she be able to stay focused and pick up the victory against someone as talented as Belair? She better be laser focused because... Um, Bianca is one of the most talented women in WWE and NXT as a whole right now. Quite the challenge for Little Miss Bliss. But here we go. Your main event begins right now. It's Little Miss Bliss. 
Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. right here and her opponent from Knoxville Tennessee Bianca Belair and here we go ladies and gentlemen this Montreal crowd hyped up for this main event <clears throat> the bell sounds and here we go and Alexa starting off with some high flying hitting a hurricanrana on Bianca. Bianca more of a powerhouse than anything, but we've seen her do that 450 splash off the top rope in the past. I think she's one of the one of one of the, if not the only woman I've ever seen pull off that move. And now Bianca showing off that power, sending Alexa face first into the turnbuckle. Alexa, though, coming back with a devastating crossbody, throwing all of her weight right into Bianca. Now Alexa wheelbarrow and lands on her feet into the arm drag. Drop kick to Bianca. Look at Bianca laid up on that bottom rope. And Alexa, another hurricanrana, and Belair's not looking too good right now. But here she comes. Pump handle backbreaker. Dragging Alexa to the center of the ring and not even a one count. Bianca's got a long way to go before achieving victory in this main event. And clotheslining Belair over the top, but Belair right back up to her feet. Running into each other there. Into the turnbuckle goes Alexa. Bianca going for the forearm, and Alexa, hand on the throat, STO. Vintage Bliss. Now, Bianca coming right back with a jawbreaker and an STO. Picking Alexa up to her feet, kick to the gut. Oh, wait a second, Bianca with the alley-oop face buster. Hook in the leg. One, two, and Alexa with a shoulder up. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have phlegm in my throat right now. Oh no, Belair is looking to end it. Oh, she, KOD connecting the sit out burning hammer. And that is a devastating move. Alexa might be finished, one. Two, and no, Bliss still in this match. Bianca thought she had her. That was Bianca's best shot, but it wasn't enough. Alexa dragging Bianca across the ring took a little bit too much time. And here comes the KO, or the EST with a forearm shiv. Hanging Alexa on the second rope and choking her to death. Bianca getting a little dirty, but she has been known to do anything it takes to win. Going for a suplex, but Alexa with the neck breaker. Picking Belair up to her feet into the turnbuckle. Now Alexa. Oh, the glitter blizzard. She does not keep the shoulders down, though. Now sending her into the next turnbuckle. And I think Alexa's going to go for it again. Rolling Bianca up. But once again, does not keep the shoulders down. I think Alexa's just toying with her. But Bliss looking to end this one. Spike DDT to Belair. Hooking the leg, one, two, and Belair with the shoulder up. Very competitive match, but Bliss headed up to the top. 
missing the diving elbow. And that could have been the final mistake of Bliss. Bianca slingshots her off the top rope. Going for the cover. One, two, and Alexa still in it. Both the one more big move, and this one could be over. And Bianca with the power. Glam slam. And now going after the legs of the goddess. Oh my god, just ran straight through her. Wait, Bianca. Oh my god! The power! Deadlifting Alexa now walking around with her high above her head. Military press slam. How impressive is Bel Air? Alexa gonna try to come back now. Now just throwing her over the top rope. To the outside, both women go. Ladies and gentlemen, by now I'm sure you've heard Forearm shift to the face. Back elbow to the face. And Bianca. Oh my god. Showing off the power again. Doing squats with Alexa in a suplex position and planting her on the floor. Bianca is definitely trying to make a mark. She, she, she's going for it again. Alexa able to get out of it and land on her feet. Back into the ring. Bianca back into the ring. Up onto the shoulder. And another snake eyes across the top rope. Or the top turnbuckle. And the bow and arrow. Cinched in on Little Miss Bliss. Alexa is in, she's wearing thin right now, definitely. Bianca is <clears throat> very dominant at this moment in time. Kick to the gut, she's going for it again. Alley-oop, face buster to Alexa. And Bliss has to, it, it's gotta be over. One, two, Alexa with the fighting spirit. She is multiple time women's champ for a reason, but she cannot take another KOD. And Bianca planning bliss. Even the ref Winston Paint. Wait a second. The women's champion Shayna Baszler's out here. What? What? Why is. I don't know what. Has Alexa and Baszler formed an alliance? Alexa with the roll up. One! Only a one count, Bianca, not gonna be fooled. Snap suplex. Baszler's in the ring now. Just, I, I don't know if she's trying to distract the ref or what, and I don't know what her problem is with Bianca. Back elbow, knee, clothesline into the turnbuckle. And now Alexa choking the life out of Bel Air with her boot. Uh-oh. Bliss looking for it again. And Spike DDT. One, two, three. Your winner, the goddess Alexa Bliss with the help of the SmackDown Women's Champion Shayna Baszler. I'm not sure if Baszler was out here because she's friends with Alexa or she was out here because she's enemies with Bel Air. But either way, she was out here to help Bliss lose or Bliss win and Bel Air lose. I don't know what the situation is, but hopefully we'll find out in due time. Here is your winner, Alexa. And that was it for SmackDown Week 14. This match was definitely match of the night in my opinion. Let me know what your match of the night was in the comments below. And remember guys, if you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Brandon Brainy Bear for both. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. And have a wonderful evening.